Marky, your first game in charge of Wigan Athletic. How do you reflect on it? Um, I'm really proud. Um, proud to, to start here today, but also very proud of the performance. Um, I thought they gave us everything today. Um, bear in mind, we're playing against one of the top teams in the division, a team that's been on a quite an incredible run, and I've been together now for a little period. I thought we really played well today, dominated in parts, um, had three or four terrific chances uh, to win it. Um, limited them to chances on our goal, um, but uh, overall, and two or three great performances that I won't actually highlight, but um, overall, I've got to be very, very happy with the group. I suppose, you know, you, the very least you expect is hard work, but a class goal from Sean, the quality, you need that in this division, don't you? You need X-Factor players, you need players that can do something special. Um, I thought it was a terrific run from Chris McCann, he had burst two, three, four times in the first half and behind in midfield, as had Roger, as had Sean. Um, and and Sean was coming in for a little bit of a rough treatment. It had been, you know, it was his. It was his, he, he took he took aim with his first free kick, and with the second one he got it right. But it was a, a absolutely sublime free kick. But he's got massive quality, and it's something that that I know from from looking at him from afar. It's about making sure that comes out. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned Chris McCann and Ben Watson as well. Real fans' favourites here, and great to see them back out there playing. Well, Chris McCann, as I say, not going to start mentioning too many names but Chris McCann today the amount of second balls that he won in midfield was phenomenal and for someone that's been out for a period of time to go out and put 90 minutes in and at the end still be running out looking like that uh, it shows the quality he's got it shows why the club bought him it shows why he's the player that I know he is and um, I'm delighted to have him back and just a fine margin from perhaps winning it as well Barney hitting the post and, and Chris's chance that fell to him and he, and he put over yeah that's right that's exactly it I mean Emerson had a terrific head on the first half that he, he, he knows he, he should have done better with uh, Barney had the one where he uh, that has the post he has another one where he's the, the scissor kick um, and, and Chris at the end then blazes over but um, overall I thought they worked really hard and, and you know on the, the piece of the game played against a very good team today and, and had you know that amount of chances I've got to be happy and our fans right behind you from the off and the team as well. Yeah, it was you know the the hairs in the back of my neck were up uh, coming out at, at the start. I got a terrific welcome, and I'll be forever grateful for that. No matter what happens, I'll be ter forever grateful for the fact that our fans gave me that reception. Uh, you know, my dad and my, my my young boy were here today, and um, you know, forever going forward, today will be a special day. The fact that the Wigan people and and the Wigan Athletic fans um, welcomed me to their town like that. And just finally, plenty of positives to take into a tough one at Sheffield Wednesday next weekend. Yeah, they're all tough. Everyone's tough. We're tough one over there. Absolutely, they've been doing well. So, um, but um, I've got a good group of players here, and um, you know, there's there's a real honesty among them, and we'll keep um, keep plugging away.